but uh -huh, uh -huh, that's the uh -huh. thing that makes me nervous streaming wise is like it's so easy to misspeak uh or to say something like you know with a video if a youtube video if i say something like that i don't mean to say or i miss words and i'm like ah, dana just edit that out but when you're live in front of an audience or live in, on twitch it's like whatever you say or do is just there there's no taking it back whatever else now i, I don't like I don't say terrible things or whatever. Typically, it's more like I just don't want to miss speak or sound like an idiot. Yeah. But there are people, you know, that say things or word a sentence poorly and offend an entire culture. And sometimes you just want to I take that don't off. think it's that hard. <laughs> well, like, no, honestly, no, that truly. part, that part, I agree with you. That part, yeah. I agree with you. But I it mean, is like, something I that get... you gotta keep in the back of your mind is that you're I... live and there's no. Yeah. Thing i get that there's a risk but just like in my normal day-to-day -day conversations i don't say horrible things no 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 <laughs> yeah. i don't exactly. think i'm gonna turn on a camera and be like i'm at a 90 percent risk of saying something horribly racist today you hire a risk I assessment manager <laughs> Yeah, this is like I I don't I don't understand go. like this like yes anyone can say stupid things I've said stupid things on the internet all the time and I've offended people on the internet all the time but at the same time it's like. It's not that, it's not that hard remember, to control your mouth. Yeah. Random well, memory. Uh, oh, go ahead, Bob. This well, is, I was just, I, I think there's a there's a pretty wide line between people who like drop an N bomb alive on stream and are like, oh, I would, I never would say that otherwise. Like, no, you, if you say that in the context of a stream, obviously that's something that comes up when you're talking to other people. You don't just randomly change your vocabulary. But I do feel like it's not yeah. that there's. I know who I am as a person. I like to think I'm a good person and being completely open. And I don't really filter myself when I stream and I swear a lot and I say some pretty like sexually explicit things and maybe that's not so good, but like I own everything that I say. I don't think it's that hard. Even if you don't filter yourself at all, if you say something accidental, if I accidentally say something that is offensive or I slip and I say a word, um, you know, that, that I used to say when I was a kid, but I've learned like, I don't say that anymore. I've I've changed what I think about it and I've I've grown up a little yeah. bit. Like it's I it's so easy to just be like, look, I'm sorry that that came out and and explain it and people might still be upset, but there's a such a wide line between that and just like being super racist on stream or like being super Agreed. sexist. Like it's not it's not that hard. It's not that hard yeah. unless you are actually a racist and you're trying to hide that when you're on stream and you're like, "Oh, don't no, don't don't let it slip. And it's like, well, hey, it's like maybe an that alien says more about bursting out of your chest. Like, oh, don't let yeah. the race <laughs> no, 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 no. oh, oh, no. no. oh God. Like, maybe that says more about that person than about, you know, the danger of saying something offensive when you stream. And no, yeah, that was not directed yeah. directly at PewDiePie, but he is in that group of people. But there are a lot of people who've said stuff on stream where it was like, yeah, you yeah. didn't. You we're, didn't accidentally say that because you were live. You accidentally said that when you didn't want anyone to know that you you use that word or you think that yeah. thing or whatever. Like, yeah, that's different. I, I want I want to be clear. We're not talking about anyone specific. There's a lot yeah. more people than just Beauty Pie who no, slipped yeah. up at some point yeah, and yeah. have slipped up much more oh, and more worse. consistently way worse, yeah. and way worse. Like, we're not talking about any one specific person. So. uh and also, like, like to to your credit, uh, Bob, you said something like people have said things in the past, and then they've learned that that's like not okay to say, and then they change as they go along. There is that and a difference between that and just actually coming from a place of hate. Yeah, I don't know about like when I was a teenager, I I definitely said things I. Oof, oh yeah, you know, no, like right I used now. to say tor horrible things. Yeah, especially like, uh, yeah, I don't even want to specify, but you know, whenever we were teens and we didn't know any better, we had no thing. I have learned so much since starting YouTube and Twitch, like stuff they don't teach you anywhere in school about, you know, how, how people want to be uh, how labeled, you know, different pronouns about sexualities. There's so much stuff mm. I never even considered existed until I started in this field because in school, they just don't touch those topics. You know, it's like, yeah, there are homosexuals, there are heterosexuals, and that's all you, you know about. Mm -hmm. There's like nothing else that you learn. And so whenever you're thrown around like, you know, stupid terms as a teenager you're not you don't think about the context what any of those words mean you're just like i want to say something because i'm mad that that guy used a rocket launcher to kill me in call of duty yeah i, so, I mean there was there was even a point like in one of the earliest episodes of drunk minecraft i made a tranny joke like i said tranny i had no idea 
Yeah. I had no idea how bad that word was. I had no idea how bad the context of what I was saying. I, like, it didn't even register in my mind how hurtful that statement was. And it wasn't until I said it, and then people were like, that's not okay. And then I was like, holy shit, that's not okay. And and it's like, yeah. that is that is just, like, my mentality at the time. And I, I tried to move on from that and learn from that. But that is something that happened, and that is something that I said. Yeah, and there I think is a lot a of us... Slipped yeah. up on early drunk Minecraft. I think I think I said something like that's gay or something on early drunk Minecraft. Something I would never say now. But when mm -hmm. we first started, you know, I was a guest on a just we were just playing. I wouldn't even guess. We were just playing games as friends, and you happened to be recording a video. We had no I, idea. We didn't think anyone was ever going to watch that shit. <laughs> we, exactly. Yeah. We didn't like, know that like, it was going to have a. We that, was, a that was the idea. But like, let's be really honest. Even Mark, on some level, I know you had to be kind of like, I I hope people come watch these videos, but like. Not, not millions of people are not going to see this. Oh, like, <laughs> yeah, never. This is just never this history. is just for like those people that do come over here. Who, however many, like this. Uh, there's how many millions of people have watched those videos of us being drunk and stupid. It's uh, mm -hmm. it's amazing, it's amazing. They still come back. Yeah, it is amazing. <laughs> I mean, I, I honestly, feel like though there's a difference when you first start on a platform and you slip up versus being on a platform for a long time and then slipping up. Because one shows growth, the other shows lack of. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just all about, people are saying character development. I mean, kind of, it's personal growth, character development, whatever you want to say. But it's just like, it's, it's about learning. Like, it's about learning things, learning that you're not the only person. And the thing about uh, streaming and being in a community like this and, and having a YouTube channel is like, you open yourself up to a much wider, not just number of people, but variety people like yeah, types definitely. of people like different lifestyles different like origins different like way people live like that that kind of opens up and you don't even know the perspective of it until you see and immerse yourself because like we yeah. like wade and i come from a rather small high school where where uh like people would call things retarded all the time like that was a common thing in high school people would throw that around all the time it wasn't until i left high school that i learned that that was not a cool thing to say like i did, didn't yeah. never even registered in your There's mind like when you're in that, that, that thing yeah it's just like that that sort of thing until you open your eyes to a wider thing like you just have no idea you, you don't and it's whether or not you take that information and go okay i'm gonna learn that that's not okay i'm, I'm trying to move on with my life with that knowledge or i'm gonna be like ah fuck it yeah i'm gonna I'm say everything's retarded i'm gonna do all this xyz but like yeah. there's one thing that's right and one thing that's wrong yeah. it's funny because people do they go one way or the other they either like correct themselves or they turn it on the other people like well you shouldn't be offended by this mm -hmm. it's like the only two ways people seem to take things is either you know i correct my behavior or i down you for being offended by something which is not the correct way to handle it mm -hmm. but yeah. i think we've all like we've all grown we've all we like maybe we're not mature but we still we're not at least we're at least considerate of other people whenever we say stupid <laughs> things now i think i've mm -hmm. actually uh grown to swear a lot more oh me too i never doing swore. this and streaming and everything than i used to <laughs> my youtube channel was clean until like two years ago i never cursed on my channel <laughs> But yeah, wait, Minecraft I did because I always got hammered. Wait, I can't remember. This is just ringing a bell in my head. Wade, you were in a scene and on stage in Australia and you said something so shockingly dirty and I couldn't believe it came out of oh, your wait, mouth. Wait, I can't remember that, what it was. Was it that whose line? Was, was it the one that he read? Because I remember with that one. Oh, which one was that? Um, You were in a scene and you were i think you were talking to your your child or you were talking to someone who you had like a familial relationship a non-sexual relationship with and you were you were we were doing who's who's line where you pull at some point at random points for the scene you pull a piece of paper out and you have to read that line and that's what you say in that moment in the scene and wade was talking to this other character and was like you know what i just when you do that it, it makes me feel a certain way and you pull the line out and it was like it just makes my sheets so wet <laughs> yeah and it was, was like the most unbelievably the most sexual thing one. completely <laughs> accidentally yeah that oh, was yeah. one is that oh, the one you met mark I probably, yeah. Whose lines is asking for trouble, but then it just continued on as a running joke through the whole yeah. show. Yeah, it was, it was, uh, you make my blanket wet, or I wet my blanket so, because something, something like that. Hair. Yeah, it was, uh, God, it was a, it was a gem of a, of a, of a pull there. It was a good it's one. It's great yeah. whenever those lines like make sense in the scene. It's horrible when they make sense in 
worst kind of way like that. <laughs> I will say, uh, as a little behind the scenes perspective, it's really good that like Amy and and Molly and uh, and Mandy when she was with us curate those because yeah. like ninety percent of those, depending on the place we are, like. I don't know what's the breakdown like 20% of them are like Ethan have my baby here's my phone number <laughs> like a good 15% of them are just like where's Chica yeah. <laughs> and then there's like a the rest of it is like a like the rest 60% of that's like a strong mix of like oh I dick dick and butts dick butt cutting my dick off in the butt like stuff that's like nonsense and just sort of to be shocking and the the like 12 that we have on stage are the only ones that are like Oh, Grandma, I can't believe you did this for me. Like, there are things that make sense and are not about Mark's hair or Ethan having sex with someone. Mm, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, if we did, I think we should have done like a worse version of that where we curated them and just picked the worst possible ones. That's that's what I always kept telling Amy. Like, the last one, show it really messed with people. I mean, the last show was a shit show, to, to be fair, but it was, um, it was, it it was wasn't it was, that bad. Uh, it was kind of fun. It was, no, it wasn't that bad. It was just like from <laughs> our standpoint of like, we're just going to throw everything off the wall. We're just going to like let loose and cut loose. Like the yeah. structure of the show went to shit, but it was really fun. Like it was a super fun last show. God, the poor Dan, I, his keyboard situation. Oh, that I've whole never saga. seen him so upset. He was pissed. Oh, yeah. Did you see? Did you guys see him um, when he first? No. So I was. I was out on stage. Yeah, I saw whenever he first got the new, first. Yeah, I can't imagine him mad. I can't. Yeah. Well, so it was, it was, it was really scary. weird. I was I was in side stage, uh, like across the other side of the stage, because I was trying to find some quiet. Because I was on the phone, I was just trying to like do something with my flight. I was trying to confirm something with my flight. And I was like on hold with the airline, like sitting there, trying to find some quiet. And like Dan was on stage and Wade and some other people were milling around. And I just like Dan was like working on the keyboard because there had there were some issues with the sounds on the keyboard, right? And and uh, what he was attempting to do was like hard reset it so that it would just go back to like default settings. And I think what he actually ended up doing was just deleting a bunch of stuff off of it and basically making it into an empty shell. And uh, and I just hear like in relative silence of pre-show stuff from stage, I just hear like fuck. God, fuck, damn it! And but it was in Dan's yeah. voice, and I was like, "What the? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Who's who's dying? Like, whoa, 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 whoa! Dan is never yeah. mad about anything ever. Oh, he, it was like, terrifying. He like, he like hit his seat, like the seat, he, his little stool or whatever. He like it punched his seat, and he just goes, "I fucking knew this would happen." Yeah. And he like he walks, he's walking away like downstage, like with his hands on the side of his head, like ruffling up his hair. It was terrifying. He, just, he looks like a madman. Like it was, I, you could tell. He was oh, so upset. He was he so he was upset. upset. I can't imagine that. So For those upset. that don't know who Dan is, if you've been to the tour, you've seen Dan. He's on the keyboard, but he's rarely talked. Dan is a soft-spoken, always yeah. joking, very jovial, super nice guy. Kind of quieter, like just doesn't really like doesn't really like yell. I've I never even heard him raise his voice no. like since before this moment. I still never have heard him raise his voice. To imagine him pissed off enough to go. Fuck! Shit! I can't imagine yeah. that. Just no way. No, it's, it's it so was funny though. absolutely the weirdest moment that I've had with uh, yeah, because Dan's always so. No matter what happens, like Dan takes us through a lot of warm ups and stuff, and like yeah. literally we could be doing a warm up where we're supposed to sing, and someone could just be like, like you're supposed to sing a rhyme, and it's like my turn, and I'm just like, ah, I went to fucking god, ah, I fucked it up. I'm sorry, Dan. And Dan's just like, that was good. That was good. You know, I think you could. Uh, Let's try it again. Let's and it's like, Dan, that wasn't good. That was stupid. Like that was awful. But he's just that guy who was always just like, you know what? That's that's pretty good. We'll try it again. We'll try it again. And try it try it this way. And it's like, yeah, he he he, he was yeah. he was mad. Oh man, he was a it's little like, mad. I forget I forget who said it, but I think it was Catherine. But Catherine always said that she wanted to see everyone she knows and is friends with at their extremes. Like, you guys have seen me really pissed off. You guys have seen me super sad. You guys have seen me like really happy. All this range of emotion. And, and it was like this really interesting thing. Like how many people out there watching have seen their friends at all these different extremes? Like it's it's a very telling thing about their personality. You know how yeah. someone gets pissed off. And that's like a very interesting facet of the personality because it, it's like so far off the norm of what you think that you have to like readjust how you think of this person just by how like what their extremes are. Yeah. Have you also noticed that like the people that are the nicest people you'll ever talk to when they are pushed to their limit and are upset, it's like 
Because most of us have like a scale, right? We get progressively more angry, but some people are just like happy, happy, happy. Okay, tolerate, 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 tolerate. And then it's like livid beyond belief. Yeah. They just, they <laughs> go from like one extreme, just like something snaps. It's like, okay, now I'm pissed. I feel like that's Dan. Dan can take so much shit. But there's like that 99% that drop off of where, where he was mad. It's like, he's scared. I have an aunt, nicest person you'll ever meet. But when she's pissed, it's like, you want to be in a different zip code. Not because you think she's going to do anything, but just because it's so uncomfortable seeing her upset because she's never mad. Yeah. Ever. What's, and when what's she the, is, you know that shit's wrong. Yeah. What's the phrase? Yeah. It's just like, uh, oh man, beware uh, a nice man scorned something like that you know something like that <laughs> yeah. Yeah. shut up don't laugh at me <laughs> I, beware a nice man scorn watch out for up. the nice people when they get angry it's not so good about <laughs> the anger no you know hang saying, on you know what i'm talking saying, about like you know. beware a nice man angered i don't know hang on I'm Googling are you it. trying to say the saying hell hath no fury no that's just about like a, a woman, woman scorned. scorned. That's no, not no, nice no, no, okay. no, 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 no. I'm pretty sure it's no. beware the scorned man. <laughs> ah, wait, here, here we go. There are three things all wise men fear. The sea and storm, a night with no moon, and the anger of a gentle man. Patrick Rothfuss. Yeah, I don't that's, know who the you said some of those words. You don't know Patrick Rothfuss? <laughs> Beware yeah. angry man when scorned. No, that's Wait, perfect. Don't someone quote me. Put me on quotes.org as <laughs> Beware a nice man scorned. That's my quote. What? Mark Fishbach 2018. Put it there. Write it Mark's in a book. Quote, Hell hath no fury like happy man's angry. That's God. not what I said. That's perfect. your quote. That's no? Wade Barnes. <laughs> Hell hath fury like, like nice man scorned. That's you. you. See how that that's, dumb that sounds? That, that's you. That's what you sound like. <coughs> nice man mad is bad. There you go. <laughs> I was choked on my... Was, was that you hitting your mic tea. boom? <laughs> that was, that was, I almost spat tea up. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh,